What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Cosmic Verse. Let's get straight into it. These single events, man. Well, I have to cancel the singles event that I planned to be on my farm this weekend. Stupid. I'm so goddamn tired of being the fifth wheel Aww. or the third wheel. And I like, got into it with my friend today. And then she was like, well, it's a lose-lose. Either they don't invite you and then you're hurt because you're left out. Men are no longer attending these singles events. For real. A man walks into a mixer like this, singles mixer, and all the women turn their nose up at him and turn their backs to him and start talking to each other. Fellas, start signing up for these events. Start going to these events. I like these events because it makes it easy to approach someone and it makes it easy for someone to approach you. And because of that, these women are losing their minds. Mm -hmm. I would love if we could be honest and rebrand singles events as the truth, which is a perfect place to meet your brand new platonic best friend. That's exactly what these women are going there and meeting each other and becoming friends. They're not meeting men because the thing is, the men that would go to these events are the same men they're that they're going to see out in public. And the thing is, you're not giving them the time of day already. So what makes you think that when they show up to these singles events, you're going to give them the time of day? You're not going to because you women are too picky. Lower your standards. Men don't go to these. Men no. do not go to singles events. No. Stop paying money to go to singles events. Men don't go. Stop it. Facts. We don't go to singles. Well, and the thing is, the men that do go are the same guys that you see out and about all the time. And you ladies next to these guys, when you should be giving them a shot events because our self esteem yeah, we don't go to singles events because our self esteem can't handle the rapid fire rejections of 35 people in a night I did it once and never again see exactly this is why us as men don't go I mean I've never been to one but I don't even know single events existed exactly like how are you guys marketing men don't go because they don't think there's a leftover women uh, because they think that's where the leftover women go and they also think this is a slightly less degree about us online dating yeah I mean Oh, uh, this to us. Oh, my God. I wouldn't go to a singles event because I don't want to pay. If I can't get a girl for free, then I'm not spending money to learn the same thing twice. Ooh, very well said. Very. I mean, you got a point, though. Why pay and go get rejected when you could just do it for free? Um, you, I, I can get rejected all on my own. <laughs> that, that's what a lot of men think. These women saying countless. But now they're all saying, I don't want to be independent anymore because they've realized that they it's actually the need me, a dude. man in their lives. They've realized that they've been lied to all this time. I was over on Let me know in the comments, do you guys like bangs? Like bangs on a chick? Personally, cannot stand them. I hate bangs. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you like bangs or not? Bench. I was over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I was sitting over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I made a salad with craisins. I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-C Do you know what that mean, man? I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D -E -E She belongs to the streets E-N-T Do you know what that mean? Went to a singles mixer And only women showed up Well, number one red flag She's got the AirPod in the ear, right? She's just preening, like, video herself pre Like, these women are full of themselves No wonder men aren't approaching you Wow. Attempted going to a singles mixer in downtown Phoenix. Ain't no man The ratio up. of men to women was way off. We left after maybe 40 minutes, but hey, we tried. Okay, I'm confused. What? You know what? I would like to do a social experiment where I would go to one of these and see how many chicks... I could get their number and like get them interested like that. Wouldn't that be a great social experiment? Let me know what you think. Like, do you think that would be hilarious if I went in there with a camera, had a cameraman go in there following me? I'd be like the only guy there. I'd have pick of the litter. I, all the women would want probably want to talk to me. It'd be great. <laughs> and then I could treat them like they treat us. Happened to strong, independent women don't need no man. We what? all realize that feminism is expensive and that being strong and independent is played out. And you guys, honestly, you just can't handle it happened to women not wanting to date men anymore oh y'all want us what happened to lonely single and desperate men would do anything to get a woman for some reason the math is not mathing because from what i'm hearing about singles events it's flooded with women yeah women are looking for relationships yeah. women are looking for relationships despite whatever they're saying online that they prefer to be alone without men see women are not being truthful they come online and they say they don't need a man. They don't want to be in a relationship. They don't want to settle. But then when you see a singles event, it's primarily all women. Oh, they're desperate. Where are the 
the men? Where are the men? Yeah. The men are sitting at home, chilling. Yeah, we know where the men are because they don't want to deal with it anymore. Mm -hmm. You see, there's a big difference. When women say they don't want something, they actually want it. Mm -hmm. When a man says he doesn't want something, he means it. She's preaching. If a girl is at a singles mixer, she's a red flag. If she was all that, someone would cuff her. Yeah, I mean, yeah, somebody cuff her in the real world. I mean, that's facts. I got a dog to walk, barbells to press, and my guitar ain't going to play itself. Who gives a crap about singles <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point, though. <laughs> two years after my divorce went out on three dates, too much has changed. It's sad. Four years single now. Happiest I've ever been. The Lord will give it if I need. Hey, there you go. Preach to that king. Um, Let's we'll see what the next person says, if they bring up another one, that is. Um, but yeah, I see a lot of guys that are divorced and super happy right now. All these things are just for women. Why would men go to mixers and be told they're thirsty? It's, exactly. We're just going to go and get shamed if we do go. So it's like, why Why would we even go if when we do go, you guys are just going to shame us? So, you know, make it, make it make sense. It really doesn't. And that's why none of us men are going. And the thing is, they don't market this stuff to men anyways. Like, when's the last time you saw anything on any of your social media about a singles mixer event? I've never seen anything. I don't like any of you. <laughs> it's Friday night and I'm dressed up and going out for a change. There's a singles event, Trading for a Lady, run by a radio station, Triple N, and I'm going with my best friend who I've known for 20 years, and I've got this cute outfit which I... Oh my... Damn! You're wearing like the... Uh, what are you wearing? This is a horrible outfit. Absolutely. I'm wearing this cute outfit. That is not cute. It's like pop art. It's like comic book art dress that in no way, shape or form tells a man that you're serious. This says that you're childish and never get to wear. So either way, you should never wear that. You should burn it. Burn that dress. A little bit lame. We can always leave and go to the fried ice cream place nearby. So wish me luck. So they, they already know that it's going to be a bust and that they're just going to go somewhere next. Well, I have to cancel the singles event that I planned to be on my farm this weekend. Shocker. Y'all know I'm an event planner and I have a fish farm and I advertised a fishing. She has a what farm? A fish farm? <laughs> For love events. Y'all know where I was going with that. Stop, dude. Where singles could come here and fish and have dinner and meet each other in person. Bro, Not if a man's going to fish, he's going to do it by himself. Why would he go and be disturbed by a woman? On a dating app. And five women RSVP'd yes. And one man. And even the one man that did RSVP did it through one of the ladies. Now, I did all of my marketing specifically towards men because I knew that the women would RSVP. I promoted the event on 45 different Facebook groups specifically about hunting, fishing, fishing. camping, country life, and all local to my area. I know that my post reached over 12,000 people specific to the age group, the gender, and the interest that I just described. And yet, no man RSVP'd. So let's talk about why men are not RSVPing and attending these singles meet and greets. Because it's a waste of our time. Shots fired! Shots fired! What are you talking about? Why? Why would I go fishing and have a woman yapping? No, we go fishing for peace and quiet. So I read something that said that men are just more spontaneous. They just want to show up. But I don't think that's true because men have no problem buying their season tickets to a football game a year in advance, being on time for their fantasy football event being at a 7 a.m. golf tea time. You are seeming to mix up a lot of a lot of these. We go do those with other men because we're having fun. Dating in the modern dating market for men isn't fun. It's a lot of rejection and meaningless conversations. So here's what you need to do, ladies. Start approaching the men that you want. Because if you don't, you're going to die alone. Start a petting zoo. Get a little rabbit. Get a little cat. Get a little dog. Invite all your friends over. Let the little piglets and the little donkeys and the mini horses run around in the hay and just <laughs> sell mimosas. You'll be a millionaire in a, in a week. Us men don't want to go do these things with women in mind. You need to start approaching us. You want us? Men are the prize. Clearly, if you ladies are showing up in droves to try to meet men, it's saying something. We are the prize, and you need to do something about it. Damn! 
It's just the facts. So the issue must be that they're just not interested in attending these singles meet and greets. Duh. I also read that men don't really like the pressure of meeting a woman in a formal dating experience, and they prefer meeting a woman naturally, like at a bar or a concert. But like, don't we all? Now remember, I chose an event that men love. You, you know what she should have done? She should have marketed it as, I got a bunch of catfish in this pond, come out and fish for one hour. You know, everybody's welcome. Everybody come out and fish for one hour. You keep what you catch. Load this pond up full of fat catfish. Boy, you would see men come out in droves. You got to know how to market this specifically. Like I've said, marketing is getting someone to buy the product. If buying the product is a man coming and fishing with a woman there, uh-uh, he's not buying that. But if he's buying, oh man, this, this pond has got a... This pond got a whole bunch of catfish in it, and I go out there and fish for free, and I keep what I catch. Hell, I'm there. And then you just have women there to talk to these men. Boom. She, if she would have marketed it that way, they would have. It would have been great. But she, she marketed it like a woman. You got to market this stuff like. You got to think like a man. But the, the thing is, a lot of these women can't do that. Of doing, and I get men here every day at my farm fishing. I chose a fishing event because as an event planner, I know that I have to always have something for men to be doing. Men don't enjoy just standing around talking like women do. So that's why I chose fishing as the predominant activity. And yet You shouldn't have marketed it with women, though. Just say, hey, come out there, fish for a while. They still didn't want to come. So I yeah, exactly. Duh. Because they know that women are going to be there. If you didn't say anything about women being there and, and it was just like, hey, you get to keep what you catch and this is what it is, men would have showed up because they're like, eh, it's a free fishing trip. I'll go out there and keep what I keep what I catch. Like, that's a no brainer, bro. Like men would have been lined up. They would have had their trucks out there an hour early just to be there on time. You know what I'm saying? In Atlanta for Valentine's Day. I'm a little late, but we ain't gonna talk about it. Y'all, let's get into this venue. Like, look how amazing this apartment venue was. They had these cards so that you could like, you know, start conversations and ask questions for people. Of course, there was way more women than men, but it was a free event with drinks and food, so can't complain for real. In case you didn't notice, there's only a few men there like compared to the amount of women. It's only a good idea if there's actually genuine people trying to find real relationships, not with what's going on in the dating world today. And that's why I do not go to those mixers anymore. When you go, it ends up being nothing but women. And to those men that like to say you can't find women, you can't approach women, you know, they're there at these mixers. It's a beautiful, successful women who are making a conscious effort to put themselves out there to meet someone. And before you start hating, oh, there's just a bunch of women that can't find nobody. And there's a lot of people out there that can't find anybody. Young, old, black, white, rich, poor. These women are actively putting in the work to make themselves available. That's right. Guys, you really don't even have to spend money at these events. Fellas, start signing up for these events. Start going to these events. I like these events because it makes it easy to approach someone and it makes it easy for someone to approach you. Classic. Aww. Oh, it makes it easy for you. Mm, welcome to reality. It's never easy for us men to approach you. But when it's you approaching us, you want it to be easy. I thought y'all wanted equal rights. I thought, it, we, I thought we wanted equality, right? Go out to a restaurant, go out to a bar, go out to a social event and start approaching men. Stop needing the pillow and the comfort of needing to be at one of these single events to even approach a man. Life is hard, get a helmet, you know what I mean? Ladies, I know you want it to be easy on you, but the thing is you wanted equality, so here it is, start approaching us. Because we have to approach you. Back in the day, that's what it was. My grandfather met my grandmother at a local church softball game. And you know what he did? He went up and shot his shot like a real man. He shot his freaking shot, and then he married her, had a bunch of kids, and they were married for 65 years until they passed away. RIP to both of them. But that's the way it was done. So ladies, if that's what you want now, you need to just take your opportunities when you're out and about. If you see a guy that you're attracted to, or you see a guy that you like, go shoot your shot. But the thing is... Women don't do well with rejection. They don't deal with rejection very well. So even if you do go shoot your shot, more than likely the guy's already taken. Because if you think he's high value enough for you, he's probably high value enough for another woman, and he's probably taken. So it's just how it is. Loki, go to your place. Go to your place. I need my co-star. He always likes to lay by my feet. Let's get back to it. Big stuff. I'm putting this out there because I want to start going to him again. Yes, I know. 
platform, just sign up for someone and it makes it easy for someone to approach you. That classic stuff. Put this out because I want to start going to them again. Now sign up for them. Just sign up for them. Ah, yes, you can just smell it. The desperation yeah. is off the charts. It's palpable. Why is she trying to force men to go to these things anyway? If they wanted it's to. Because she's 45. Shots fired! Shots fired! This lady look as old as my aunt. Attend. They would. It's just a waste of time. In this next clip, you will see this man detailing how he witnessed a man getting embarrassed at a mixer. This paradigm, if you would. A man walks into a mixer like this, singles mixer. And so he decides to uh, approach his table with a group full of women. Mm -hmm. And all the women turn their nose up at him and turn their backs to him and start talking to each other. He approaching the next woman and she's like, mm-mm, you too short. Next. He walks up to the other woman. She's like, mm-mm, you look like you broke. No. Then he walks up to the next woman and he's like, well, I don't know what it is about it. It's something about him that I don't like. So she rolls her eyes at him and acts disinterested and looks at her phone. These women obviously aren't there for the right reasons. No, they're not. They're just looking for men to boost their ego. The bottom line is, if you are not the man that they want, this is how they treat you. They fed you to believe that a mixer is where you go to meet people who wants to date seriously. But when you go, this is some of the things that happens to you. That's the part they leave out. Now, Facts. Like, why would men, men get rejected enough every day. Why would men want to go to a place, get ready, drive there, park, potentially have to pay for drinks, get up the courage to go speak to a woman, and then she immediately just shuts him down. Why would you, why would any man want to do that? Any man want to do that? I would never want to do that. But the thing is, the guys that usually have it easy don't go to these single events. It's usually the guys that have a little bit of a harder time, right? And But that's the place. Like, ladies, you're having a hard time finding a man. Guys are having a hard time finding a woman. You guys should be able to find each other. This is where women just have a, an inflated sense of self, an inflated sense of ego, and they think they are better than the average man. When in reality, life is a mirror, not a window. You are what you attract, and if an average man is approaching you, you are an average woman! What is wrong with being average? I think I'm a, I think I'm just a little bit above average. Like I've always said, I give myself a six. And the only reason being is because I'm a little bit taller. I'm six two and I know how to dress. I'm not an eight. I'm not a nine. I'm not a 10. I'm not Brad Pitt in his prime. I'm not Channing Tatum. You know, I'm not Hugh Jackman. Women aren't swooning over me. I'm not like six, eight, six, nine. That's not me. I'm not that guy. There are dudes way better looking than me, way taller than me, way richer than me, way buffer than me that get way more play and way more attention than I do. So I know for a fact that I'm not an 8, 9, or a 10. But these women will go out there, be overweight, be a big back Betty, have a bad attitude, have nothing, nothing fun about them, nothing interesting about them. Their hobbies include wine and hanging out with their cat. And they expect a high value man to come in and sweep them off their feet. No! Damn! That does not happen. That does not happen. These men are out there looking for fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, elegant, empathetic, and nurturing, and natural. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. And if you don't have those qualities, we're out the dough. We're gone. We're not going to give you any of our attention. Why would we give up our time resources to a woman that doesn't want to give us just her time? Ladies, we're not asking for a lot. A lot of the things we're asking for, you're born with. We're not asking you to be crazy successful. We don't really care about that stuff. That's why men are true romantics, because we will marry a chick from Fries and McDonald's, but she wouldn't even look his way. So it's like, who really needs to get a reality check here? Is it modern men or modern women? Let me know in the comments. Who needs a, who needs a bigger reality check, modern women or modern men? Personally, I think it's modern women. We need, to, we need to hold men accountable in the way that, hey, you need to be a king. You need to be keen and pervious, noble and groomed. You need to be him. You need to be, oh God, what was the acronym I had for that? I can't even remember, but I'll have to, it was like something intelligent and masculine. God, I can't even remember what it was. Anyways, you need to have certain qualities as a, as a man to attract the type of woman that you want. 
So spend your time as a man building your value because men have to earn their value. Women are given their value. So go out there, try to conquer the world, get as much money as possible, and you have more options. But the thing is, you have to divide this line in between a girl that's going to be a gold digger and a girl that's actually going to love you for who you are. And it's a very hard line to cross. It's a very hard line to even tell. So there are things that you can ask these women, though. Like I've said the other day, ask a woman that you're dating, hey, if I went blind today, would you still be with me? Or if I went deaf today, would you still be with me? If she doesn't answer yes in a millisecond, she belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. Keep it pushing. Keep it moving. Do not stay with her because she doesn't love you unconditionally. Like I've always said, the only people, the only things that are loved unconditionally are women and dogs. So as a man, you have to build up your value enough where a woman says, wow, this hypergamy, I will never find a man better than him. Therefore, I'm never going to leave him. And then always let a woman feel that she could lose you. And if she does, you will be much better off without her. Because if she doesn't feel that, she's going to leave. Women are always shooting up. They're always shooting up. They're never shooting down. We are the true romantics as men. People may come for me for that, but it's just the facts. What happens when a man is on bad times? He's broke. He had a good job. He's broke. Look, the movie with um, Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart, Get Hard. Remember, he's like the man. He's like making tons of money. He's on Wall Street, blah, blah, blah. And I know it's satire, but that is a reality. And the reason they did that is because it is a reality that people can actually resonate with then it's something that is applicable to common society right now it wouldn't be funny if it actually didn't happen he was the man he was making a ton of money he was about to get a raise and then he they find out he's going to prison she dropped him like a straight up bad habit she was like i don't even want to deal with you no more that happens all the time to men and then they get half their stuff taken away and then they're left out to dust it's a sad reality it's an absolutely sad reality i love you guys man i really do appreciate it uh make sure to become a member to see all the private videos that we have so what i'm going to start doing is every month the month previous i'll probably make the videos um members only so that way if you guys want to see them you'll have to be a member uh, there was just so much content on there i was like i gotta i gotta make some of this members only gotta make um gotta make sure that the, the real the real day ones are in there you know watching the members only stuff um but yeah, I really do appreciate you guys, man. Uh, I think by this time, this video should be out. We're probably at 20K. I really do appreciate you guys, man. Mad love, 30K around the corner. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace. He's asleep. <laughs>